Hey everyone people, I'm glad that you are watching my tutorials and my YouTube channel. So in this video episode, I would like to give you the information about Squarespace service, um, what it is, how it works and why you should try it. So all will be in general. Uh, we're gonna talk about the editor, we will talk about the templates. So check this video till the end. I'm waiting for your comments, I'm waiting for your likes, I'm waiting for your shares and let's begin our work. So, Squarespace is um, a website builder service and I guess that it's ideal for creating professional websites. It has the best quality designs and features on the market and while it can take a little getting used to, the final results are worth your patience. So I highly recommend it for those who care about design or have a bit of technical skill. Let's talk about the templates. Here we got it. I would say that the templates in this website builder service is uh, nice because they are modern they are up to date with high quality pictures and we have different categories you know from the online store till the real estate properties and let's check what we got on the online store um, so these are basically these templates uh, from this category and let's start from this cucumber um, preview has to. So I'm um, actually I love uh, work with Squarespace because you know here we have uh, three um, adaptive designs uh, for the desktop, for the tablet and of course for the mobile phones, mo mobile devices. Yeah uh, and basically this is a demo version. Well we can watch a full demo but why should we do this if we have all this right here. So basically this is for the desktop stop that is for the tablet so we got the, the borders are shorter yep and that is what I told you about here we have beautiful pictures gorgeous pictures modern so basically the design is smarter and you know you don't need to have any tech skills any design skills to build your personal website because with the help of the uh, gorgeous templates with beautiful content you can do you can create your personal website so this is for mm, mobile devices actually you know Squarespace plans start at $12 per month um, the website um, or just this service builder offers many templates that easily uh, you can adapt to as I told you mobile devices and its customer support live chat service is strong so Squarespace doesn't currently offer phone support but we have um, we can have right here the app uh, which is uh, really nice because with the help with this app you can add it to your website from your phone publish blog posts or delete some sections pages add some pages so you can set up your own settings directly from your phone and that is very easy to do this so um let's start with this design and we're gonna work with the editor so um this is actually the editor um by the way in the left side of uh, our desktop here we have a main menu so um this one is responsible for pages and it's very simple to understand that so um here is the main navigation uh here on the plus sign we can add some pages some uh, blog posts posts portfolios so basically you can get some links right here and everything is um i would say very obvious uh okay the next one is responsible for design and by the way here uh we can change uh the fonts actually which are right here so basically working directly with the templates unfortunately we don't have the opportunity to change the fonts but working with the main menu i would say right here basically this is um that thing right here that we can change all of the fonts all the paragraphs so uh, that is how it looks like. So for example, here we have um, this way, so we can change uh, actually the size and that is how it looks like, yep. Okay, um, uh, what about the next here? Headings, paragraphs, bottom. So, okay, basically it's right here. You can do this. Um, the next, actually, I just saved my settings. Um, here going, oh, the colors. 
I call our Khalid, which is also responsible uh, for the colors. So we can add the yellow one. So by the way, we have pink, uh, I would say chocolate and white. So we can add it or just to um, to select the other one, just this uh, for instance, yep, or this one. Okay, um, the next thing, yeah, cancel, uh, no, this card, okay, um, the next. Here we got animation, spacing, bottoms, image blocks. So basically this page, uh, not in, in this section, we can change uh, the most kinds, uh, types of design. Okay, the next is about marketing, I would say. Yep, so actually the, working with the marketing it is it's possible to launch some email advertising, um, I would say, and you know automatic mailings according to pre-prepared letter layouts and scripts so you can create as many letters as you would like of course you have a protection from subscribers uh subscriber spam yep and statistics on mailings drafts and or even useful articles on composing search letters however everything is in english so you can uh, have a promotion from your social accounts such as instagram or even a Facebook. Um, the next we got right here is um, analytics, and I would say that in Squarespace, analytics is analytics section is very powerful because, and I would say this is multi-level. Includes statistics on sales. You know, you can use traffic uh, right here. Here we got. Uh, we have geography of visitors, but you know, in each section we have a zero because you know this is a template. But uh, if you will create your website with the help of uh, this template with this example, so uh, after working with this website, uh, you will check and you can see the traffic, geography of visitors, all um, all these uh, components. So um, this is multi-level and you know uh, this system also generates reports on the activity of visitors, the degree of popularity and efficiency of the, uh, I would say, forms posted on the site, content, search queries and everything else that affects the success of the project. So it's nice. Uh, and I would say, um, okay, we have a profile, settings, and help section, but let's start um, our work with the template. So um, basically what I can say about uh, this uh, template and how we can work with uh, the editor. First of all, uh, this is not drag and drop editor. Um, I would say that this is first page is much more straightforward so basically uh, we working only with um, each section yeah so here we've got a header and uh, you know if we want uh, I would say um, change directly each section so clicking directly to the each element um, of the section or or the section we will begin our um, um, our work with uh, with it. So we have bottom up edit to the header, and these are actually these settings. So we can upload the logo. Uh, we can change site title. So let it be. I don't know. Uh, let it be healthy blog. Why not? So that is how it looks like, yep, and that is how you can work directly with this element. Um, the next, what we got, we can um, add some elements such as buttons, and it looks nice. We can change this element, I would say, we can add some social links. Um, so basically that is how you can work with this um, header. Yep, the next thing we got, this is... Um, main body yep and here clicking directly to this section uh, we have uh, bottom of edit section 
So basically we can change color, poly, yeah, it may be, it may look like this, like this, like this. Oh, it looks nice. This one. Okay, okay. So for me, this is cool. Okay. And we can make it in large size, in medium size, in small size, or just say in large. Also, we can change the location of, uh, of the bottom. Yeah. And clicking directly to the element, we can change this element. For example, add the URL change um, the text change um, the size make it large small or medium okay let be small so um, basically that is how you can work right here uh, of or just between this section we have a button to add the section and basically here we got what we can add so these are from the headlines till the pricing we can add menu uh, we can add music logo wall uh, let's check or just location So we have maps that is really nice, but you know, I usually uh, uh, prefer locate maps uh, just uh, at the end, before the footer, to add the image. For example, I can add the, the image. So basically we're going to add it, uh, this image directly right here because we have image editor, you know, and it looks like um, in the Instagram or we can upload our image uh, from, um, from the laptop, from the desktop. So basically that is how you can work just right here and um, or just uh, search for upload from my laptop. So basically I've chosen this image, why not? Uh, so, uh, okay, so this is the content and okay, and apply. Uh, so by the way, we can add it just a little in the image editor, this image just a little to get a beautiful uh, design. Okay. So I guess that will be enough. Okay, and I'm done. Save. So basically here is my picture. So this is the first section. The, here we have the second section with my image. So this is actually a text block. This text block I don't want to change into the another one because I don't want to write anything. But you know, it looks like in a WordPress. So here we can change into the uh, paragraphs to make it in one size and small size. So that is how you can work with this ones. So basically, you can uh, do it right here directly um, with this. Um, editor but you know it's uh, just more straightforward uh okay for example i don't like this section and i would like to delete it so here we have uh, garbage bin and remove it so you know here we have this beautiful pink and tasty image you know and that is what i've told you about that i prefer templates almost everywhere because they are so gorgeous with a beautiful design so basically you don't need a perfect portfolio you can create your personal website just right here with a with these images or if you would like to you may use your personal images the you know um 
each website builder service has pros and I would say from the pros uh, talking about the Squarespace, we have beautiful designs templates and they are responsive uh, for tablet, for mobile uh, devices and of course for the desktop. That is pros. Um, of course, we have, uh, uh, I would say, good help and analytic tools, which is really nice. And you know, uh, as for me, from the pros, maybe that you don't uh, have too much variance of um, of the elements right here you know maybe for for the other people it may be uh, just you know um as a cons but for me as a pros because you know when you just when you just thinking too much what image you need um to select it, it may confuse you but in this way, I don't have too much opportunities and it, it doesn't confuse me. So in this way, uh, this is a cost. This is the advantage, not the disadvantage. Uh, so on Squarespace pages are made up just like, you know, um, they are made up of sections. Yeah. Or, and they are divided in content blocks. So uh, I've demonstrated you that, that and, you know, Sections are a quick way to lay out a page without it designing it from scratch. So they stack vertically in a page and are pre-designed containers of content blocks. So content blocks basically are the building blocks, you know, of sections. They are tags, bottoms, image, maps, and more. That is why I tried to show you here. We have these blocks. Yep. Uh, so um, people, basically this is the end of uh, my reviewing video of this website builder service i'm waiting for your personal opinion what do you think about my videos what do you think about uh this website builder service uh please write me about your favorite one or maybe write me about the pros and cons about squarespace i'm waiting and maybe the next video i will do uh more detailed about the uh, pros and cons of squarespace thank you for your attention i wish you good luck brilliant mood and bye